everyone, everywhere, all at once, is talking about how AI is going to change the world. But we aren't actually using AI at work that much. AI seems to work well in its own constrained sandbox. But as soon as I connect it to real systems and actual data, it doesn't feel quite ready. The problem is that AI does not have agentic data access. The way that you can autonomously interact with your data and manipulate it is something that your AI can't do. There are three challenges that your AI has that makes it unreliable in working with data. One, its inability to create the right kind of plan to access and operate on different kinds of data that you have on the fly. Two, its inability to reliably perform computational tasks or business logic on your data. Three, it's high sensitivity to what is in its context window, both the size and the content of what's in its context. At Hasura, over the last year, our AI lab has been working on PromptQL. PromptQL gives your AI agentic data access so that you can build applications that your users trust. PromptQL ensures that your AI has the best possible way to interact with data, and all interactions with data are reliable and verifiable. Hi, uh, I'm Anushrut. I'm the product manager for PromptQL. Uh, we've been uh, building a bunch of agents for our internal teams at Hasura. I'm going to dive deep into one we built for our customer support team. Uh, this agent is connected to our ticketing system, Zendesk, uh, our product and billing data in Postgres and BigQuery, and our docs and tutorials. Uh, so let's take a deeper look into what it can do. Let's start with asking a question like this. Who are our top five users by revenue? To answer this question, PromptQL is creating a query plan which includes finding and processing the data. It then executes that plan and gives me the information. It is smart enough to figure out that the revenue numbers have to be calculated by grouping and summing individual invoice amounts. It saves this retrieved information in its memory as an artifact which can be later used if needed. Now let's follow up with another question. How many support tickets do each of these users have? It fetches the user details from its memory artifact instead of remembering from its past context. This eliminates the scope for hallucination and context loss. It then gets the tickets from Zendesk for each of these users. Let's say I want to get a summary of the five tickets from the third user and classify them based on their importance. So I ask, for the third user, fetch the details of their tickets, summarize the tickets, and classify them based on their importance. Create three categories. It figures out who the third user is from its structured memory, instead of remembering it from its context. It then fetches the ticket details and then calls another LLM to get a summary and classification of each of these tickets. Now let's say based on these tickets, we want to issue a $500 refund to this user on their project. Let's ask our assistant to do that. Issue $500 refund to this user's project. Now it will try to execute the issue refund mutation. But since it realizes we are about to make a permanent change, it will ask for confirmation. Let's say I click on approve. There you go, the refund has been processed. This was a short demo to show how PromptQL allows you to build powerful AI applications which can retrieve and process data and take action. That's what I want from AI. I want to leverage all of the great work that's happening in AI across the world. I want the latest innovations in LLMs and put it to work. I want AI to be connected to my data, but most importantly, I want to use an AI product that is reliable so that I can trust it for my day-to-day -day work. PromptQL is now available. Start creating AI applications and explore the art of the possible. What are you going to build?